Hello everybody, my name is Star. I am your friendly neighborhood go-go dancer and we're multitasking, I'm doing laundry today. I am going off of social media for a week. It's gonna be kind of easy mode for me. I'm mainly going to get rid of TikTok, Instagram, and I'm gonna try to get rid of Facebook, but I'm not quite sure if I can do that without getting rid of Messenger. TikTok and Instagram are definitely the major things that I'm looking to cut out of. Uh, on my phone, on my screen time. Um, the things I'm not going to be giving up are Snapchat because I use it like texting. The other thing I'm not going to give up is YouTube because I basically use YouTube like TV. I don't really watch TV. I don't even really watch Netflix. Um, but the way I'm gonna get around the more like social media aspects of YouTube is I'm going to exclusively watch it on my smart TV, which means I won't be able to see comments, likes, anything like that. The main reason why I wanted to do this is because I have like a few, you know, bad habits I think we all do with scrolling, um, spending too much time on social media that I would like to, you know, give myself a reset for. I'm only going to be doing this for a week, so, you know, it's not that big of a difference, but I think it will do something. I think the biggest offender that I do is in the mornings before I get ready for work. I will scroll on my phone for like 15 minutes, but sometimes if I'm not paying attention, uh, it'll go into like 20 minutes. I honestly shouldn't really be doing it for more than like five or 10 minutes. And then I end up running late for work and it's my own damn, my own damn fault. I also feel like when I get home, I end up just sitting on my phone for a very long period of time when I could be taking care of chores, going grocery shopping, or just like t participating in hobbies I actually like doing. I'm not the worst defender of this, but I do, I will scroll on my phone at night for a little bit. And I'm not the worst defender because I do have pretty bad insomnia. So I do my best not to do that. Uh, however, I do really cut it close to when I am supposed to go to sleep and my boyfriend will be doing this in solidarity with me. He actually already started today because I wasn't sure when we were going to be doing this. Um, I was, I thought we were going to start today, but he wasn't sure about starting today. So I'm like, eh, fuck it. I'm going to like scroll on Instagram or whatever. And then later on he texts me saying, hey, I deleted Reddit off my phone. I'm like, oop, uh, I'm gonna officially start tomorrow. <laughs> I feel like these first few days will be relatively easy just because I work for, you know, eight to 10 hours a day. I'm not really looking at my phone all that much during that time. I'm hoping I'll actually be able to get more done during the week. I feel like it will be harder on the weekends just because, you know, that's my time to relax. And also times when I do stuff and when I do stuff, I like to post it onto, onto Instagram. I'm gonna finish up putting away my laundry uh, and you guys are gonna see me later this week. Hey, it is day one. I'm just driving into work. Um, I did not go onto Instagram like I usually do in the morning, so that means I only laid in bed for 10 minutes instead of like 15 to 20. And I'm actually heading into work on time. Let's see how the rest of the day goes. Hello, checking in later for day one of no social media. Things that I have run into today. The first thing that I noticed is I don't have anything to do while I am pooping. <laughs> Most people scroll through social media on the toilet. I am one of those people. And now I don't know what to do with myself. Throughout the day, it was relatively easy though, aside from that, to, you know, get through my day without going on social media. I stayed pretty busy. And then I came home and I did a few chores. I went grocery shopping, put away laundry, um, and made dinner. And when I was done with all of that, I was, you know, on the couch watching YouTube um, on my TV and I was just exhausted from the day and I just wanted to lay there and scroll on my phone and didn't really feel like watching a YouTube video. Um, but then I kept remembering that my phone doesn't have the apps that I usually scroll on. So I just kind of laid there not having the energy to go take a shower, which I still need to do, but also not being able to do anything else besides lay there, which I also didn't want to do. So I ended up just working up the courage to get off the couch and now I'm going to shower. 
So yeah, those are my thoughts on day one. Good morning is day two of the No Social Media Challenge. I had a really hard time waking up this morning and usually what I do to help with that is I honestly scroll through Instagram um, just because the light in my face kind of forces me to wake up, but I couldn't do that. I tried doing it with the weather app a little bit and that kind of helped, but I don't know. It's kind of like I wish I had the phone just in my face to wake me up, but then again, it's a double-edged sword. so. It probably would have caused me to just like mindlessly scroll for a bit longer than I would like to and I would be running late right now. It's kind of hard to say either way if it would have helped or made things worse. But that's my thoughts this morning. So I accidentally cheated yesterday. Um, it's not that big of a deal, I promise. So yesterday I accidentally saw a few YouTube comments. Um, that's literally just because yesterday I was, I wanted to watch YouTube. My boyfriend was still working in the living room, so I didn't want to bother him and watch YouTube on the TV. Watch it on my tablet in the bedroom instead, and just so subconsciously went to the comments section while the video was playing. I don't even remember like actually like clicking on it. I just remember like realized I started reading comments like, oh, I'm not supposed to be doing this. So kind of like reveal, uh, I guess eye opening about how like subconsciously sometimes these things can be and especially when there are no barriers there. Now that I'm on day four, I'm like starting to actually miss uh, some of those social media apps like TikTok. It's not like FOMO, but it's like I kind of miss like that type of entertainment. I kind of, um, yeah, I just kind of miss laying on the couch scrolling through TikTok. I did have a friend like fill me in on what's happening on TikTok. It's really just Amber Heard stuff, um, which I'm watching YouTube. I'm watching Philip DeFranco, so I'm still kind of updated on that stuff. So it's not like I'm missing a whole lot. Um, but yeah, I just kind of miss that type of entertainment right now. It's just starting. It's not bad yet. Today's Friday, so it'll be interesting to see how this progresses into the weekend. I'm not sure if this is defeating the purpose or not of me, you know, documenting for the internet um, my week without social media. I don't know if that's defeating the whole purpose of this, um, but you know, I am a clout chaser at heart um, and you cannot stop me. All right, let's see how I do this weekend. You know, the real tragedy of me not doing social media, media this week is that I can't update you guys on Lake Chipotle. So if you don't know, I live next to a lot of beautiful lakes in Minnesota, you know, Lake of the Isles, the De Macosca, uh, but none of them compare to the beauty of Lake Chipotle. Lake Chipotle is a large puddle of water that has developed in the Chipotle parking lot that I live nearby. And on my Instagram story, I like to update people on the status of Lake Chipotle semi-regularly. Um, she is beautiful. She will not be stopped, and I just like to keep everybody updated on it. Anyways, I'm just sitting here waiting for my friend to pick me up so we can go to brunch, and instead of scrolling on my phone, I am reading a book because I am an aesthetic queen. I feel iconic. I feel mysterious. I feel a little silly talking to my phone right now on my porch. I feel damp. It is very rainy today um but yeah my friend should be here soon so it's a little after three o'clock um on saturday which is like day five i think i did say one of the things that i wanted to get out of this challenge was being able to get a lot a lot more done and i have so far washed my sheets and i've also done a lot of video editing and i'm about to go for a run before it rains so i think i'm accomplishing that so far Hello, I forgot to check in yesterday. Yesterday, um, we went to this cafe called Cafe Astoria that I've been wanting to go to for a very long time. Um, it has these very beautiful Instagrammable drinks. Uh, they've got a rainbow latte, they've got a, ca a campfire latte. Uh, I got the rainbow dust latte. It's very pretty, here are some pictures of it. Couldn't post it to Instagram, but you know, I've wanted to document it anyways. I also spent some time 
making a plant hanger. Here's some footage of that here. I've been meaning to make another one for a long time um, and I finally had some time to do so. I also worked out yesterday um, and yeah. So today is the last day of the challenge and um, I worked all day today so it wasn't too difficult and now I'm home. Um, I just put away laundry, discovered that my boyfriend had d um, done the dishes so I don't really know what to do with myself now. Um, maybe I'll edit a YouTube video. Maybe I'll make dinner. Um, I don't really know. Um, I've got like, you know, some number of hours to kill before I go to bed. Okay, we are done with our week of no social media. Woo! So the first two things that I saw after being done with this challenge, I opened up Instagram and saw a friend's 28th birthday celebration and also Blair Walnuts' spam account. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me as a person, but I feel like it sums up my life. I also went through every single TikTok that friends have sent me. Honestly, it was like 20, it wasn't that bad. I'm still not posting myself on social media. I'm just consuming what other people post right now. I feel a little weird about posting my, myself like on social media currently. So let's talk about whether or not I think I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish with this challenge. One, I wanted to be more productive, which I kind of think I did do that. I did take care of some things that I'd been putting off for a while. I was able to complete my regular chores as well as little offhand uh, do once in a while chores. I cleaned my bed sheets. I planted a bunch of plants and seeds. Oh, I had a couple of pairs of pants that had holes in them that I sewed up myself instead of going out and buying new pants. I don't think I was wildly productive, um, but I think I was more productive than I usually am. The one downside to that, however, is I think I just redirected a lot of my attention away from social media and onto online shopping, specifically off Poshmark. I would just browse, like I wouldn't spend money on anything, but I would just browse like stuff to save for later and not buy anything. It was a lot of scrolling through that though which I'm kind of ashamed to admit since the whole point of this thing was to avoid scrolling on social media apps and instead I just started scrolling on a shopping app. Oops. The other thing that I kind of wanted to accomplish with this challenge is to stop doing the scrolling in the morning. I do feel like I do less of that. The past couple of days I am usually able to limit my scrolling in the morning to 15 minutes or less, which was the goal that I wanted to achieve with this. I also wanted to stop the late evening slash night scrolling, which I do feel like I'm not really doing a whole lot. We'll see how I am later this week, but so far I've kind of restricted it to like 30 minutes at a time, which is a lot better than what it was before. I think before it was like maybe an hour and a half at a time. I think once I'm done recording this video, I'm actually going to look into my screen time for the week and see how much my screen time has lowered and I'll cut that in right now. Okay, so some of the interesting things that I saw from my screen time section in my iPhone settings are that one, I cut my screen time by about an hour a day before it was like two, two and a half hours and then I cut it down to an hour and a half so under screen time, it also tracks uh, the amount of pickups that you do. So basically the amount of times that you pick up your phone and look at it, um, whether or not you actually open it or it doesn't really matter how much time you spent looking at it. It just tracks how many times you pick up your phone, um, which that didn't really change for me. On an average week, it says that I pick up my phone between 300 to 350 times, which sounds like so much. Um, and that didn't really change during my no social media week, which is kind of weird, but also makes sense considering that kind of Pavlovian response was still there during that week. The other thing that was interesting was that it showed that I texted way more than I usually do. It was like my number one used app, I think. In previous weeks, it showed that I tend to send between 20 and 30 text messages a week. Um, and for the no social media week, it said that I sent 90 text messages, which is crazy, but also makes sense because um, like 
the way that I'm interacting with people is much more personal and much more one-on-one -on -one as opposed to social media, which is kind of general um, and non-specific. Yeah, that's all the interesting things that I saw through my screen time monitoring app. All right, and that was my week with no social media. Uh, what did you guys think? Have you guys ever tried going without social media? I'm sure you guys have some sort of social media considering you're watching this through YouTube, but um, what about other social media apps? Um, are there some that you definitely know that you're addicted to? Um, or maybe you're a weirdo who doesn't really use social media all that much. I'd love to know all of that in the comments below. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.